take the 666 to mean the devil or Satan or something like this. But what we have to realize is that in ancient philosophy, everything had a dualistic meaning to it. So in, in numbers, through Gematria, we find that the numbers also have an alphabetical equivalent in the Greek language that the New Testament was written in. Gematria was also something that was used by the Hebrews and most likely the Phoenicians as well. Uh, so what that means is that each letter of the Greek alphabet had a numerical or a number equivalent to every letter in that alphabet. So the alphabetical equivalent of 666 in the ancient Greek alphabet was Chi Xi Sigma. And this was 660 and 6. Now, we have to realize that in the modern Greek alphabet, these letters are a little bit different. The Chi is represented by a straight X. The Xi is represented by something that is just three dashes coming down. And then the sigma looks somewhat what, like a cross between a Z and an E. So here we have G Zeus in the, in the ancient way that the Greeks would have pronounced this. And we also have to realize that in these ancient alphabets, they did not use vowels. So without the vowel, that says Jesus or God is Zeus as well.